Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to merge rows and columns. We know that td tag defines the HTML5 table data. We see it usually as a table cell. The cells are presented as rows and columns when it is rendered in a HTML, I mean uh, rendered in a browser like IE or uh, Chrome. We can merge columns using call span attribute of the TD element. So the merge happens column wise here and the attribute is call span. The attribute is for td, that means the table data element. Similarly, we can use the row span attribute of the td element to merge the rows. You can also combine these attributes together. That means in a single td, we can specify both the attributes column span and row span so that you can merge both column and rows. So to understand row span and column span, let us create a new HTML table. So beside is the HTML5 table with three rows and three columns. You can see here three rows with a pair of TR. So there are three pair of TR tags that defines the rows. And inside each TR we have three table data that means there are three columns so this together forms a grid of three class three and each td we gave a number so that it appears as a grid of one two three four five six seven eight nine you can see that each cell is numbered that's what the number is placed between the td td is a table data and td is also termed as cell so here we are forming a numbered cell so this table will be helpful for us to understand how row span and column span works so when we render this it will appear like here and you can see the first row has one two three and second row table row is having four five six and third tr tag defines seven eight nine so each cell is boxed because we set a border as one now let us look at the html5 column span attribute Here we applied the call span attribute at second cell of the second row. That means you can see that in TR, second TR row, and especially the second TD. So the second cell we specified the call span and we gave a number two. So what we are saying here, we are saying span this row to two columns. The call span attribute for the TD tag says column spanning is for two cells. So the second row TR tag, we have only two TD elements. If you look at the second TR tag, that is which is running from line number 35 to 40, we have a first TD cell which contains a number 4. Then we have a second TD cell which has a number 5. This also specifies uh, attribute column span of 2 and the style is given as green yellow. So since this column that means the uh, second cell in the second row is spanning two columns we are skipping the third column in this second row that means we are skipping the cell number six simply the numbered cell six is skipped as five expands to it because of the call span two attribute 
now if we render this in a browser you will see the effect as like this so in the second row i mean the first row and third row doesn't have any effect but second row in second cell we told that the cell expands by specifying we call span equal to 2 so the cell second cell expands two columns that means the column grows towards right and it's up the space for the cell number 6 so that's why in the table we skipped the second element i mean the third element so if you see the cell number 6 is missing we skipped that td here in the second tr row you can look at the line number 39 after that we are skipping the td so that was the column span now we will look at the row span here we applied the row span attribute at second cell of second row same like the previous example here instead of using the call span we are using the row span and row span is 2 since it is a row span attribute we have next cell for this row means you can see the cell numbered 6 here that means in second row you can see all the td elements even though the second td specifies there is a row span of 2 well, because the row span is going to affect a cell in the next row so that's why in the current row that means in the second tr you are seeing all the td elements that means you are seeing td elements for 4 5 and 6 but when you look at the third row we skip the second td element that means here the cell number 8 is missing we have td7 td8 is skipped and td9 is specified why because the cell from uh, previous row 5 spans towards the vertical side i mean it spans down so that it occupies the second cell in third row the span is row wise that's why we are providing room for it and we skipped the element 8 here because the number cell 8 is merged by the number cell 5 which is in the second row the browser will render the table like the one which is shown here in the beside and if you see the cell at line number 2 that means the second row middle cell which is expanding row wise so it eats up the cell in 8 i mean the uh, the number cell 8 is merged by this uh, cell 5 and 5 occupies both these cells that means it is, it is spanning two rows so this is the example for row span now we will combine row span and call span attribute for a cell so we will take the same cell cell number 5 and we will apply both the attribute row span and call span and study the behavior so here is the example here we applied both call span and row span attribute at cell number 5 so call span is 2 row span is 2 and style it is still green yellow because of call span equal to 2 attribute the cell 5 expands eating cell number 6 for this reason we skipped the td for cell 6 that means in second row you can see only two td the third td element 
number 6 is skipped here because of the call span why because this call span call span will eat that particular cell this two spell span then expand to eat both cells 8 and 9 in the next row because of the row span equal to two attribute so first the call span attribute expands the cell number 5 towards right to occupy the cell number 6 then this merged cell a merged cell in the second row which is occupying the cell position 5 and 6 expands downward that means it expands row wise so that's what called a row span 2 so when it expands to the next row it eats up both the cell 8 and 9 that's why in the next tr that means in the third tr you are seeing only the td7 so table data 8 and table data 9 is skipped here so to better understand it have a look at the picture here so this is our table structure which contains three row and each row contains three cell or in other words it's a three cross three table so we are applying the attribute at row number 2 the second td element so which is marked here as green the call span 2 tells that grow the element or merge the element column wise that means it occupies this cell after this the row span 2 attribute is applied the present cell or this merged tail merged cells expands downward because that's a row span right so when it expands it occupies these two cell so this is the net effect and when we render we will see it like this all right now let us uh, look at the example and execute that in uh, internet explorer so here is the example here we have uh, three tables and so first we are having a normal table and that normal table has uh, three rows each row has uh, three cell that's the first row and this one is the second row and this is the third row next here in the second table row we are using the call span and here if you see here in this second table we are having only two table data element and the third data element which is td6 here is skipped this is the td6 in the normal table that we are skipping why because we know that this column span will expand column wise so that it's of the cell number 6 so we skipped that next we used the row span here in the second table row second table data we specified the row span this time the span is not column wise so we specified the td but it affects the row so in the next table row we have 7 and middle row 8 we skipped then we specified td 9 the same way we used td with uh, both of the span call span to row span to so this uh, td i mean this uh, table row is having only two table td then in the table uh, row third row we have only one td so this was already explained in the slide now let us uh, execute this in uh, ie so this is the normal table the h1 tag is here a normal table in this normal table we are applying the column span so it is expanding like this column wise and the cell number 6 is 
eaten up by the cell number 5 so that cell number 5 is merging two cells so 5 and 6 and we have number 5 here in the row span if you see the same is merged row wise so 5 and 8 are merged and we see the cell number 5 here next in the row span and call span example the row is merging like this after that it is spanning row wise taking up the cell number 8 and 9 so that's here that's all here uh, in this uh, example thank you for uh, watching bye